Okay, I want to uh, board this about, I don't know, maybe 100,000 from the final dimension uh, to be able to insert this under pressure onto the, uh, the bore of the uh, mounting plate and then reinstall, realign and uh, rebore to final dimension very precise. So I'm using a boring bar. I'm going to take about uh, about 200,000 per uh, per cut and I'm going about 800 something deep in there. This is cast iron. <laughs> going good. I'll finish the end a few thousands by hand. Another 300. Advantage with cast iron, you can take huge cuts. You gotta go a little slower though, but uh, it does a nice job. Uh, around 300. There we go. Not bad. Just see if we're uh, tracking with the uh, the arrow. Approximator, because we're gonna get close enough, and that's gonna be good enough. Two point two forty one. Just a sanity check. Okay, I prefer to be under than above. And 576. I, I want to go like uh, 2 inches, 600 or just about. It'll leave me uh, almost a thou 100,000 to uh, press it in and uh, do the finishing after. Uh, prefer to have a little bit more than the running out of material okay let's do this we're doing about uh, at least 300,000 uh, yeah 200,000 not too sure but I think the outside move so that's the advantage of leaving some uh, some meat because when you uh, go to big chunks like that might have surprises see this is not concentric anymore let's make this straight Okay, enough boring for the inside. I'll do the uh, just clean up the outside, and we got too much anyway. We got about fifty thousand on the outside to uh, bring it to the final. It might have moved in the chuck a little bit in the roughing, or might just uh, question of uh, relieving the stresses because when you remove huge chunks from the inside or any part, that might give you that might give you surprises. Now, this is going to cool for the night. Get it uh, get in place because it's warm enough to uh, cause distortion. So tomorrow we'll come back and uh, start on a fresh piece. We're the morning after. Everything had time to cool down and uh, settle. Uh, I just brought that uh, outside diameter to uh, interference fit. fit interference fit for about uh, I would say about a thousandth of an inch and uh, got the start of it there is like fitting a little bit snug just and the rest I think you can see that it gets in a little bit and the rest will be press fitted into the uh, backing plate 
and I'll reinstall, realign, and uh, do the final machining to uh, you know the closest tolerance as I can on this. There we go. Okay, now parting. This is non-critical. Uh, setting this up. Zeroing. I need, uh, let's say, 600,000 will be good enough. Uh, that light's dying on me. Okay. Six hundred thousand, a little bit more. And we're splitting. dying on me there we go nice part Cast iron removes easy. Just watch your fingers. Okay, now time to insert the sleeve right into the um, the backing for that chuck. I send it into the freezer so we get at least some uh, help to insert that S small size first. It's almost in, but a little bit more pressure. Compressor's not on. Bloody compressor, never there when we need it. I managed to have clean surfaces. That's in. Had clean surfaces all along the um, the bearing surfaces and also uh, referencing surfaces. Sorry, and also uh, cleaned up so no chips or you know crap would just be pressed in. I think that's uh, not going anywhere. The cooling down of the ring helps to uh, get things started. There we go. It's nicely sitting in the bottom. Let's go reinstall this in the uh, in the late. We'll reference again for this axis and run out.